Hi, this is my Dell Vostro 2520, partially taken apart by myself. I am a dedicated computer professional. Uh, I wanted to show you the problem I'm having with this. When I go to power it on, it just does that. Obviously, you can see here the, the WLAN card's checked, the hard drive's checked. During the power cycle, the power is checked during the power cycle. Um, that noise you hear clicking, if you hear it, I don't know, is the hard drive being checked. And there is nothing coming up on the screen at all. There's no post activity other than this. Over and over again, it'll do this till the battery dies, or if it's plugged in, it'll do it infinitely. Um, I've tried. <clears throat> it does this with the keyboard installed as well. I removed the keyboard uh, to do some diagnostics to reseat the RAM chips and to check anything else on the inside that might be unusual. All the cables are plugged in just fine. It was it started doing this before I began taking it apart naturally. Um, we were going to watch a movie on the laptop. It had been working for about a month or so. Perfectly fine with Windows 7. Um, shutting it down normally. Booting it normally. And uh, when we went to watch a movie on uh, Xfinity, uh, the, the mouse was frozen. Uh, it wouldn't respond. No, keyboards would re no keyboard activity would respond. Nothing would happen. So we ended up doing the four second power cycle. One, two, three, four, to crash Windows down and to restart it. When we went to power it back up, this is exactly what happened. It just cycles over and over again. Same exact cycle over and over again. I have not reinstalled the keyboard because evidently this little part right here is so incredibly sharp that it won't hesitate to slice through your ribbon cable. It won't even let you know it's doing it. It'll just do it and you'll figure it out later. And then you need a new keyboard. Thank you, Dell. Um, so, uh, even if I replace the keyboard, it'll still do this. Same problem, no solution. Um, I used the same operating system on this machine here. It's the same exact machine. I bought these two in a purchase, a buyout that you know, from a company that sell buys off lease equipment and resells it to the public. Um, uh, they both worked fine with Windows 7. Mine still works over there. It's my work laptop now. And I uh, have no solution for this at all. Uh, I believe it's probably a CPU error or probably a motherboard error since I've reseeded the memory and it works fine. I've switched power supplies. Power supply is not an issue because it's doing it without the power supply. And it does it with the power supply plugged in as well. Uh, no further diagnostics can be done because this is as far as it goes. Other than that, if anybody has some insight as to uh, what this is about, if anybody has the same exact problem or something very similar, it would be great to, to see and hear your comments, maybe even a video comment, uh, some sort of documentation on exactly what's going on. Um, I doubt Dell really cares about this. This is a made in China at 100 miles an hour laptop. Um, but it would be great if there was a solution for this issue because it would be nice to have a working laptop. And I refuse to buy a new keyboard for it if there's no solution to this particular problem. Uh, other than that, um, if <clears throat> this can't be solved, I'll be putting this up for sale as parts. Uh, thank you for watching and commenting. This is Zach Hyden. I'm out.